Hey folks, this is Matt Rainwater, and today we're going to be reading episode 47 of Trailer Park Warlock. This episode is titled The Rite of Kumortel, and uh, that refers to something we're going to have to find out. What uh, Pontu has been up to, what the plans he has with uh, Revenstone, and then also we're going to be seeing whether or not Darla and Bev finally find Jake. So, let's get started. So, our first panel, we begin with a close-up view of Darlin, uh, Darlin Bev's tracker that they've been using to track. Um, people want to say track. <laughs> um, track uh, Jake with. I don't know, Darla. I've been watching this the whole time our chunky vampire was setting up. And the target didn't change position until now. Hmm. Huh. Oh, my dear little baker, I'm afraid I wasn't entirely correct earlier when I said it was an exhibition night. I did say you would not have to fight, and that is technically true. Master Pontu, however, did not inform me you were to be used as a bloodbind. I can't imagine you know much of Coup Mortel, but you are in quite a dangerous position. But fear not, little baker, I snuck into the Master's of Reliquary and got this for you. I gave a protective amulet to each of the cats, but this one, I believe, is especially suited for you. Hampton's such a cinnamon bun. <laughs> being nice, uh, being sweet. This, um, by the way, uh, later on in uh, later on in the story, I think the amulet got bigger accidentally because it's pretty small in this panel, in this introductory panel. Anyway, that's just a thing that I'm noticing. It was the only Daywalker amulet I could find. But I'm sure I'm sure it will bring you guidance and protection in the ensuing chaos. Watch, Darla, watch, watch. See? It's not moving. Wait. That means So they're starting to figure it out here. Darla takes off her glasses. Oh, huh. Heh. Hee 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 hee. Ah ha ha ha. He's a pretty dorky looking bobcat, isn't he? His stubby little tail. <laughs> it's adorable. And then we hear Darla and Bev laughing off in the distance. I recognize that laugh anywhere. Hot damn, that is Darla. Thank the Lord. Thank all the Lords and all the ladies. Whoever. <laughs> Oh my god, he's trying to call my name in Bobcat. <laughs> this part's actually pretty funny. Uh, so they keep laughing. Mara? Oh hell, ain't, it ain't that funny, you jackass. So now we're going to cut over to Henry. Henry! Leah. Henry, there better be a bloody damn good explanation for all this. Just as I get my will back in full, you're telling me Pont 2 has chosen us as bloodbinds? Does that asshole want us dead? I wish I knew how to answer that question, Leah. I wish I could rip out his throat. Oh my. Leah sounds quite distressed. Roar. It's like subtext, <laughs> I guess. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red State Casino's one-night-only special event. But before we begin, a friendly reminder that all betting booths close in five minutes. Now, for the first time in our casino's history, we invite you to witness one of the oldest sports known to night kind the world over. A sport known for settling feuds, ending wars, and celebrating the turn of the seasons. Prepare yourselves for the rite of coup mortel, or as we like to call it in the States, murder shot. Murder shot? Uh, so, anyway, just as a note, in French, um, coup mortel translates literally to blow mortal, but uh, in English we would say mortal blow, and uh, which is why I ended up calling it murder shot, because... America. Um, <laughs> so, th some thoughts on this episode. It's a little bit of a shorter episode. 
Um, it's all set up for what's to come, right? Uh, the next, what is it? It's about three or four episodes are devoted entirely to this match between Plantu and Revenstone. And this is kind of the the big thing that all these events have been leading up to, right? And, of course, there's more after. It kind of gets even crazier than this. But for me, when I was writing this, I was really starting to get myself prepared and feeling very amped, very psyched for this uh for these next couple episodes because I was starting to as I was writing this starting to imagine and think about how cool <laughs> the battle between Pontu and Revenstone is going to be and I th think it's cool. I think I, we're going to find out again when I when we start reading it. Um I had another thought, and it escaped me for a moment. Give me a moment. Um, this is another moment where we get to also learn a little bit more about Henry and Leah, and we get to see their relationship evolve, certainly, a lot a lot more in the coming episodes. But um, it's nice to kind of check in with them, right? And uh, we're going to also find out what's up with Dan in, I think, next episode? Anyway... Great comedy with Darla and Bev, right? Um, I like to see, I like to see that interaction between them and Jake, because it also it, it better establishes like all their relationships with him. Um, and also, I just need, like, as I was writing this episode, I was like, I just need to pull in Jake more because he hasn't been and he hasn't really been there, right? Like, he just hasn't been there for for so much of the story in season two. Um, so it was good to have him coming back in. Anyway, I, I thought I had more thoughts in regarding to this episode, but it's a pretty straightforward episode. There's really not that much going on. It's all, like I said at the beginning of this ramble, it's all set up. And, um, you know, the thing about set up is that it's necessary in terms of telling a story, uh, but it's also in terms of... Uh, weight like it's important but from a like from the perspective of looking back on it as a writer it's not as interesting as seeing the results because that's always like <laughs> I guess that's how I'm looking at it right now I was like okay but what is this going to of course I already know right and y'all gonna find out soon enough um, anyway Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for reading along. Uh, we will have more to talk about in the coming coming episodes in regards to all this. And I uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. And if you're enjoying this, please subscribe. Please like. Um, and you can also follow me. Let's see if I can find this real quick. You can follow me on social media, on Twitter. It's at Matt J. Rainwater. Instagram, at Matthew Rainwater. And then on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Matt J. Rainwater. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, and we will do this again soon. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.